Hi everyone, I'm Liana and welcome back to my life as a Dark Lord. Uh, today we're going to be moving on to the third main level of Chapter 3. Um, first thing I'm going to do is upgrade the Scorpions because they've been lagging behind at level 2 for a while. And this level has got quite a few mages in it. Okay, it's got four mages in it. But it's also got two white mages in it, which is a new enemy, a healer type, which we haven't faced before. Um, not too much of fear about them, but they're a bit odd considering what they've always been in Final Fantasy games and how they behave in this game. But I'll get to that when they appear. Um, for the main level, we've got quite a lot of melee coming. So I'm going to be building floors with two bombs and a mew because I just find if you shove a squirrel over it somewhere, then it makes your life better. It really does. Try it. Um, I shouldn't want people to only shove squirrels to places where the ISPCA will allow. So, um, orifices aren't good ideas, okay? And we've got our token trainee coming to the tower to give us, uh, what's that, level 2, so 60 MP. Well worth it. You start to wonder why these trainees keep on trying to commit suicide. How does anyone ever get past the rank of trainee at this rate? But now we're straight onto gladiators. They're still not going to be a threat because I've built bomb floors, so um, the magic stand paralyzes them, which allows everything to get out of an attack before the adventurer, which is quite useful for faster enemies. Gladiators are quite slow, so it's not too much of a threat. Right, I'm going to build some more here because my muse on low health. So if I build a couple of evil puppet shows, it will give it time to regenerate a bit of health. The bio effect doesn't really matter since the paralysation effect of the magic stands is going to override that, but, you know, it, there's still 20 MP to slow the enemy down. It's, it's a bargain, really. As long as you don't do what I did in the last video, build about 50 of the things, run out of floors you can build, and then have an enemy just walks up past the top floor, and you can't do anything about it. Yeah, that was stupid, but never mind. See, my Mew has now survived, partially because the enemies have been slowing down, partially because um, they've used their attack up on the puppet floors, and that means that their attack isn't ready to use as soon as they appear on the floor. Combine that with the paralysis, it's just slowing them down a lot, and it's, yeah, a bargain. That's why I really like puppet shows. Also, black mages. They do like no damage to puppet fur floors. They do very little damage to artifacts in general. It's, I'm not sure why, they just don't. So that's a good thing, right? Um, unfortunately, they also take next to no damage from bombs, so I'm going to have to build some scorpions, which is why I upgraded them to level 3. I'm still putting them into magic stand floors because there's more melee in this. Um, level than there are mages, so I still think it's worthwhile to have magic stand floors just to do a bit of damage to the melee. So the scorpions aren't really ready to attack yet because I didn't build quick enough, but it's not too big an issue. There's another floor to four floors for the uh, mages to go up, so it's fine, they'll be killed. Well, they'll be killed from that floor because they're in the low level. Whatever. So yeah, this floor is... Um, sorry, this level is nowhere near as challenging as the last bonus level I showed and completely failed on. Um, so it's not the most exciting one, but... Um, I do have exciting news. I got an email today and I finally got an email back to my university and my place is now secured. So I'm going to uni, I'm going to the uni I want to go to rather than going to my backup choice which is all I had confirmed until this morning at 10 o'clock and I'm recording this 45 minutes later. I'm, 
I'm slightly happy about this. You know, I've been really, really anxious about this because they've been messing me around, not replying to emails. I was using one of my Hotmail accounts to contact them. Apparently, they can't send or receive email from Hotmail accounts. So they've been trying to send me emails and I've been not getting them. I've been trying to send them emails and they've been not getting them. And basically, I've been panicking about this. Um, it's a silly thing to panic because it's not as if they're going to turn around and say, no, you haven't got the place. But I still worry. You know, I think most people would worry in that situation. Anyway, I've got the place, so that's good. And white mages are turning up, so that's also good. They're completely unaffected by bio. It does nothing. They don't attack. All they do is heal. But adventurers can't sit on the same floor as other adventurers. So they can't heal each other, they can only heal themselves. Which is quite odd, really, because normally white mages in Final Fantasy games are quite vulnerable to attacks and they heal with the other party members and make your party survive through that. In Crystal Chronicles, my life is a dark lord. They are tanks. They are generic, so you take a reason amount of damage from everything, but they constantly heal themselves. So they're actually quite good at getting to your top floor. They're quite resistant to dying. Um, not resistant enough. Um, Paralysation floors. Sorry, magic stands are quite useful because they paralyze, which means all your monsters get to attack before they're healed. Um, another thing that's useful for the first floor they visit is having one Mew on there. And then a couple of slow hitting enemies, um, like later on you get behemoths and ochus and things. Um, the Mew will hit them once, they'll heal as soon as they're hit. So the Mew will do like 6 damage, then they'll heal for like 40, completely overhealing. And then you've got the two behemoths hitting for like 40 each. It does a lot of damage, but for now it doesn't matter. The white mages aren't too much of a threat. So there we go. Taking out a victory screen. Been a while since I've seen one of them. Um, and level complete. And a quick lecture about healers. We don't have healers yet, but Tom Betty likes to tell us in advance. So that's level 3 completed. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.